yesterday we get back to our car after being at Johnny's house in Oakland for about an hour and a half and um, I get in and I look back and I was like oh my gosh our windows broken and I see all the shattered glass everywhere and I realize that all our backpacks are gone all my camera equipment everything my lenses my 70d my MacBook and I thought I still had one hard drive at home but it turns out I brought both my hard drives so all the files I've ever owned are just gone all my personal memories and I think yeah that's probably what hurts the most because <laughs> they were really special to me and um, the night before that I was rushed to the emergency room because I have a really painful <laughs> infection on my back um, and but it's healing now it's gonna get better and so all I feel really in this time is grateful. If you would have asked me what would be the worst things for anyone to ever take from you, like material possessions, it would have been exactly that. My MacBook actually and all my files. And then now alongside with my camera and everything that I use to create. Uh, yeah, I would have said those things. But in working with happiness, I also work with a lot of pain. Every day people tell me their, their painful stories and, and they're really awful things, you know? There's a lot of heartbreak and there's a lot of self-harm. But within all that, it is so important to know that none of that can touch you. None of that is actually relevant and I think for me this is just a chance to to reset, to create even better content. One of the first thoughts I had is why, why would anyone do that? Why would anyone like commit a crime that is so painful to somebody? And it just made me realize that the work that I'm doing is just more important than ever because there are people out there that are hurt and feel like they don't have any other options and this is not this is not something that's driven by hate this is something that's driven by desperation because we live in a society where we don't have the proper support network that people don't have the support network like I have like you guys are just like I I woke up to like I don't know like 40 messages or something of people just asking how they can help and what they can do and just giving so much support and I feel so incredibly grateful and privileged I mean I wrote that post like just trying to update and just to send out a positive frequency towards whatever is happening right now and, and manifest that but the amount of care and love that I've received and like overwhelmed, you know? And I just want to say thank you for that. And that it means the world to me much more than than these possessions, you know, because this is what really matters. Us keeping together as human beings. So whoever that was, I really hope that it brings them onto something and <laughs> And they have all my hard drives, maybe they'll watch my videos and that'll help for some reason, you know? <laughs> I wasn't expecting to cry when I made this, but I suppose I, it's just very overwhelming to see so much kindness in the world. And just so much love by everyone, and I, and I really, really appreciate it. I just want you to know that. So thank you for all your love and support, and um, 
when bad things happen externally, they have nothing to do with you. I'm not different from anyone else. A lot of people said, you don't deserve this, but nobody deserves pain in their life, but it's important because it just means change and it means growth. And those are some of the best lessons we can have. So watch the growth and have a great day. And thank you for just being beautiful. <laughs>